Well, moments ago, history happened in the heavens. At 612 tonight, NASA's OSIRIS-REx probe was set to make a first-of-its-kind landing on an asteroid. Then, in just seconds, a small robotic arm was supposed to scoop up samples of soil. In a few months, it is set to send those samples back to Earth. OSIRIS has already discovered signs of water on the asteroid Bennu and has been orbiting for the last two years. Now, this is the big day in an $800 million mission that launched from the Cape four years ago. And here's the moment so many have been waiting for. Touchdown declared. <gasps> All right. Sampling is in progress. NASA confirmed <laughs> OSIRIS-REx touchdown. On time and on target, News 6's Clay Lepard looks at the mission and how it could get results for decades to come. Three, two, one. Four years ago, OSIRIS-REx launched and liftoff of OSIRIS-REx from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station to boldly go to the asteroid. Beginning its mission to collect a sample from the asteroid Bennu. Good. Now 200 million miles later, the passenger van-sized spacecraft made its attempt to touch down on this asteroid for a mere five seconds and collect a lifetime's worth of data. This is a big day. Mission manager for NASA's Launch Services program, Sean Daly. What you're looking for in this is the beginnings, right? So asteroids are essentially, as things blew apart, the pieces parts of uh, what became planets. So they're looking for the origins of life. They're looking for some of the matter that goes into the crust, some of the matter that goes into the internal portions of our planets around us. OSIRIS-REx spent nearly two years orbiting asteroid Bennu to get a better feel of what experts call an unrelenting terrain. So it may be that in the sample that we collect today, there will be minute pieces of another asteroid. So we would have a double asteroid sample return. Professor Umberto Campins carries a passion for this mission that can barely be contained on this planet. The scientist still teaches students at the University of Central Florida remotely while he works on the mission from Arizona. And it's an important step for all of humanity. We're going to a primitive asteroid that's going to answer a lot of questions about how the solar system formed, how uh, water and organic molecules were brought to Earth by asteroids and comets, and how life might have formed and evolved here on Earth. Scientists hope a sample could return to Earth by around September of 2023. Clay Lepard, Getting Results, News 6.